Jar Park is in London for us tonight, where the city trying to move forward while still remembering Kurt and the other victims in the attack. Shara? Good evening to you from London and Westminster Bridge. This is where the deadly terrorist attack occurred earlier this week. Flowers line the light post, but these flowers right here are specifically for Kurt Cochran of West Bountiful. This is where he died. The bells of Westminster Abbey echo over a bustling London tonight. The streets are busy. Buses are filled with tourists. Iconic Big Ben Tower is on full display. But as the city moves forward, it's keeping the victims of this week's terror attack close to its heart. As we are walking by tonight, I had tears coming to my eyes just thinking about all the lives lost unnecessarily. On Parliament Square, where the attack came to an end, people paid their respects with flowers. One man carrying a picture of Kirk Cochran and the other victims on his back. Yeah, I would like to pass on my condolences to the family. You know, I'm very sorry for what this guy did to, to their family and uh, the torment and anguish that they're feeling right now. Patrick Johnson is just one of several with messages for the Cochrane family who tonight are in London as Kirk's wife Melissa continues to recover. So, so sorry for this um, couple and for all the people who was here. I hear that people are celebrating such a wonderful life event as their anniversary and to be lost. Our hearts go out to them and we really feel badly. On the Westminster Bridge where the Cochrane's were hit, the sound of a siren is just another reminder of this week's deadly attack. But a more iconic sound is one these tourists would prefer to hear. Kirk's wife, Melissa, is still in the hospital here in London. We had a chance to run over to St. Mary's earlier today. She is still in the trauma unit. Her family has asked for privacy at this time. In London, Shara Park, KSL 5 News.